Well, pretty quick fight for you. Uh, seem, seem, for lack of a better word, stoked out there. Yeah, what, very stoked. Is that is that normal stoke level or increased? Uh, it's stoke? pretty stoked level. Yeah, man. <laughs> After the the things I feel like I've been going through lately, and just um, I have a lot to prove, man. You know, I, I'm on a team with guys who are, are staples in the sport. You know, like Uriah Faber, Chad Mendes, Joseph Benavides, Danny Castillo, T.J. Dillashaw. Just, you know, like all these guys, and then there's a whole new level, like a whole new class of, of kids like me coming up at Team Alpha. Like you got Chris, Chris Holdsworth, Paige Van Zant, Cody No Love, and they're all doing these big things. And I dropped the ball in my last fight, you know. And I got I got a lot to prove. I got to come out here and make a statement and show that not only do I belong in the sport, but I, I belong at the top. You know, I belong to be one of the leaders of this this new generation. So I really wanted to show that, man. And, and this is a tough guy, and I'm just very happy that I have the team I have to support me. You know? Yeah. Nice. Um... I mean, so you alluded to going through some stuff. Is it just the loss, or you got stuff outside the cage? Oh, the thing. I mean, I'm I'm not like that t typical Type A personality guy that you're probably used to for in the sport, or even on my own team. You know, like you guys, you have guys like like your eyes, like the, my big brother. You know, he's a big brother to me. But that guy's the man. Like in every part of his life, he's just a man. Dude, for me, I, I'm a screw. Like I'm a kid who was a screw up, you know. And like th I, the only thing I have is this, is fighting. And when when fighting's going good, it's like everything else is going good. And when you know when you drop the ball. One fight can change a lot of things, you know, and so I've made a lot of changes in my life. I'm a much more positive and, and productive person, but, you know, a loss hurts, man. I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like, oh, yeah, everything's going to be fine. Like, a loss hurts, you know, and so when you get this win, especially against a good guy with such a good crowd and kind of like, um, you know, it makes everything worth it, you know. It's like fighting's only fun when you win. Like, <laughs> fighting's either super rad or super lame. Like, so, you know what I mean? It's pass fail. And, and tonight was uh, a night where everything that I did, I busted my ass for three months and it came together. So, yeah. I'm very stoked. Nice. Um, I sort of hear you talking to him after you, after you got the win. Uh, what were you saying to him? I was saying he hurt me. <laughs> I say he hit me hard. His left hand was good. Uh, I was able to kind of pull outside, which was something we worked a lot of. But he did. He does have a good body kick, and he hit me hard to the body with one of them uh, right before I took him down. Um, you know, and there's that second where like your brain tells you like, "Oh, that hurt bad," and you kind of have to tell. You gotta be like, "No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine." But there is that split second where you're hurting. I was telling him he hit me hard to the body. And I say he said I hit you in the liver. I said it fucking hurt. He, or, uh, sorry, I shouldn't. No, I said yeah, it really. Good. I said it hurt. And he said, I know, I could see it. And I, I was like, dude, it didn't feel good. And then he was telling me about getting his head off. His coach was just telling I mean, it's like after the fight, you know what I mean? We're, we're all brothers in this in this thing, most of us at least. Most of us like each other and want the best for each other, you know? And when we fight each other, it's him or me. But after the fight, you know, I wish the best for the dude. So we were just kind of bullshitting. I invited him up if he wants to train in SAC ever, if he's ever in town. Yeah, nice. Um, you talked to us before the fight a little bit about the vibe at Alpha Male after TJ left. You yeah. said it's nothing but good. It seems like you guys are doing a lot as a team. It's crazy. What, what's what's going on at Alpha Male? It's crazy, man. TJ left, and, and that sucks because that's like another one of our brothers, you know? On a personal level, I, I wish the best for him. Like, But as a team, it, it just brought everybody close together. It made everybody realize what we have is special, you know? If they ever got a new house, that's kind of like the headquarters now. And we got... Uh, you know, there was a couple different things that people wanted to see different at the gym, and we've literally fixed all of them. I mean, we have so many coaches to help you get better. We have handfuls of coaches to help you get better. We, Faber has this new house that's like a headquarters. We all sit and watch tape and make food. And, like, for a kid like me that kind of grew up a certain way, like, to have that second family is, like, big. And we're tighter than ever, you know? Like, TJ leaving sucked, but it brought everyone together and made us realize doesn't matter like no amount of money or other bullshit is is bigger than family you know and, and that's kind of where we're all at i think we're family yeah so you talked about wanting to make moves in the division uh you know a guy that you fought that not that long ago max holloway might be you know right. steps from a title shot right. like where do you see yourself now i honestly think that i'm one of the best fighters in the world i, I believe that with all my heart I, like i could tell you a hundred things i'm not good at but i can fight i can fight my ass off and I, I know that I belong at the top of the division and I know I'm going to be a world champion, but I have to prove those things, you know. Saying it doesn't matter if, if you're coming off a loss, you know. After a win, there's a little more room. After the next few wins, there's a little more room to say things like that. So, really right now, I just want to get another fight. I just want to fight again and again and again and again until I make my point, until I prove my point that I deserve to be a top 10, then top 5, then top 3, then world champion, you know. Like, I'm here to do big things. Is that the move then? I mean, more fighting in 2016? Cause I don't have anything else going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is it. This is it for me. Like I said in the cage, that's real, man. Like, 
I never had anything going for me before. I never knew positivity. I never knew how to do the right things until I got to Alpha Male and I found mixed martial arts. This is it for me. This is my whole life. So, Dana White, Sean Shelby, Joe Silva, if you hear this, like, let's get another fight. That would be rad. Especially <laughs> close to where I live, like Vegas or Sacramento or San Jose or anywhere that's in the continental U.S. would be super <laughs> rad. <laughs>